And Leo, you are so in trouble because we do have the High Priest, which is the Hierophant, the energy of commitment, uh, long term plus traditional, with pieces of paper and stuff. And we do have the Hermit energy, which is a Virgo. You might be dealing with the Taurus or a Virgo, but I'm sensing more this is about commitment and wisdom. This is shining a light on a commitment that you have with somebody or you want to have or you, um, you receive from somebody. And we do have the Hermit and the Eight of Wands. We go from um, silent treatment to Eight of Wands, which is quite a passionate energy. It's a shift in energy. It's um, kind of a radical change, right? Um, in a situation, in a commitment. We do have Eight of Cups walking away because the destiny is calling. Maybe that's why the, um, um, the silent treatment happened because somebody needed to um you know to see what's out there and um and fight a little bit five of swords right conflicted the energy of wisdom and the energy of conflict i believe somebody learned the lessons we know the hermit is um the lessons from the inside right uh their own introspection their own soul's journey can be yours and if that was a conflict absolutely somebody learned the lesson in it and now I have the Two of Cups, so fighting for love, it's good. We always love um, love cards, right? Because we know it's good, no matter what. If that is love, that is also a way out, no matter what. So, um, Let's see the bottom of the deck for the overall energy and this time. And we do have the world and we do have the will, happy endings and the destiny. Um, of course, um, Wheel of Fortune, we know it's um, karma and again destiny and uh, things being um, um, in your favor. So, um, but it's also the world. So a cycle ends and the other one and another one begins. I'm going to just play a little bit because it's um, the day is coming, um, you know. It's very early in the morning. It's like 5.30, but we still have the light coming on. So just saying. Um, and I do, I want you to see the cards by the end of the reading. So, Leo, let's see what's coming your way, baby. And it better be good because we are not taking half measures here. So, past energies on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. Let's see the energies right now on your side. The person you are dealing with and mutual energies. And let's see the it's interesting it's right it's happy endings and destiny just the overall energy i'm going to take you have three for the energies coming your way the possible outcome we do have the knight of pentacles Taurus, virgo or capricorn and the lovers and the devil shows up again with the lovers we are so in trouble leo why might be a capricorn you are dealing with we do have again the knight of, Pen of pentacles this is an offer of love um, Gemini also, and it's a, it's a feeling of because we do have the happy endings, right? It's kind of a situation ends with love. Doesn't doesn't feel like a love situation ending, but on the contrary, feels like you know because we have two energies of shifting, right? So something shifts from one to another. We'll see. Again, can be a Taurus, Virgo, a Capricorn, or a Gemini. Oh, Leo, come on. We had a hell of a fight, right? I hope it was not because of the dishes, I'm just saying. Because lately it's like, you know, fighting over who's gonna, who's gonna wash the dishes and who's gonna take the garbage out, you know? So <laughs> I hope it was not that. But we do have the Death and the Five of Swords. Um, it was a hell of an ending in the past and it was a hell of a fight, right? Five of Swords is the energy of conflict. We might have had a conflict with this person. You know, you had to uh, speak your mind, they had to speak their mind, and it was, no, this is too harsh, baby, you know, we cannot fight like this. Um, and I, it doesn't feel like um, like an inner struggle. On the contrary, Five of Swords is like, let me pull the sword at you, and you know what? You better shut up, or something like that. Well, and that was an ending that followed. Of course, can be a Scorpio you are dealing with, but boy, you know. Um... And it's interesting because it's not the same ending as, um, let's say, the tower, even if sometimes we kind of associate 
with this but actually the death is a little bit longer as a process because it's also a transformation in itself so i kind of feel you um you know you struggled in a situation and it took you a little bit of awakening a little bit of transformation a little bit of conflict with this other person in order to understand a little bit where you stand right now this person of yours in the past or in the recent past right what they need to solve as an issue is really the seven of cups um illusion confusion daydreaming um not knowing what to do you know somebody is like contemplating stuff and not really uh, being in a clear mind about um, but they knew one thing right nine of cups you are their wish fulfillment you are their happiness well that is not a confusion but everything else might be you know uh, for some of you this person actually um, got confused about what makes them happy right um, they might have had options also we do have the seven of cups um, here so we also know it's the energy of options and um, they got confused what exactly make, makes me happy and how about I try a couple of options you know just to make sure we are you know <laughs> we are making informed decisions <laughs> oh, I, I know I, I'm sarcastic I'm having fun by myself but that, that is you know kind of one of the energies like let me try a couple of these and then put aside for later a couple of that you know make sure i choose something <laughs> um oh but i love the energy between you and this person of yours because they do have the queen of cups and we have the six of cups right memories of love reconciliation love a big cup of love mature love so i wonder if this was not your energy to bring to the table even even if you keep the sword in your hand here with the five of swords right we had to fight and that was quite a situation but yet you know the love was there um i do believe the love was there was there for both of you because it's a strong energy of love six of cups and the queen of cups you know um not one person can carry one single person can carry all that probably both of you brought to the table this energy of love of soulmates of connection this energy of um of mature love like really believing in in it but but you know then in the process we got five swords and then we cut something um while this person was not paying attention right seven of cups is also an energy of not paying attention of the happiness of the um of the household um when i look at this it's like thank god it's over um but it's not that actually so leo right now we do have the knight of cups my i love you i want you i want to make love to you card and we also have the world again it's a repeat card and i'm and I'm sensing kind of like a troubled relationship coming to a happy end um, because of love. That is love and that is action too. Every time we have um, nights, we know, you know, um, the situation is moving in the right direction and the right direction we have lovers. Knight of Pentacles came with the lovers, so action and love and now Knight of Cups with the, the world. So, right? Happy endings because that is love and i'm so not surprised um the energy between the two of you is such a loving one uh, queen of cups six of cups is really a lot of emotions is the energy of dreaming about each other with the six of cups is the energy of missing and longing is an, is the energy of reconciliation of coming together and the world is happy endings and the knight of cups right is the most loving energy ever um leo now the person you are dealing with right now they do have the empress energy and the three of cups we know the empress is um seeing you the most beautiful human being in the world um the empress is being the mother of their children the father of their children that's the energy of abundance of creativity of sensuality right stability and so on and so forth is the energy of admiring your mind because it's the mind with the heart of gold a combination and guess what three of cups that is reconciliation that they want they want to be happy again they want to be stable again with you they want to put down roots that's the energy of the empress um and it's also the energy of you know seeing you for who you are but look at the energy between the two of you five of swords betrayal and four of pentacles somebody being guarded being in self-protective mode um somebody thinking about their finances in some way while the other person still feeling that then swords in the back right 
And we have five of swords, ten of swords. We know it's double the trouble when we have energies like this. Um, I don't think the betrayal happens right now, but somehow with all the love, right? With all the love that we have here and the desire to reconcile and have uh, friendly energies because that's a three of cups, you know, let's be friends, let's go out, let's spend time together, let's, um, you know, um, let's have a good time. But then between, it's it's like whatever happened between the two of you, it is um, heavy and it will probably follow both of you, that's energy. Because there is so much love all over this reading and yet this fight with the five of swords, um, ten of swords, that the death is like following your, um, still kind of lingering in the shadows or between the two of you, right? I don't want to call it the elephant in the room. I don't think this is what this is all about, but it's mainly the energy of still being in your energy, this energy or still being in their energy. Uh, if you cut them off, because honestly, you keep, you have the sword in your mind, so in your mind, in your hand. So whatever this is, um, you know, this conflict probably has to be some way solved because it's not as it is in the energies right now. And I hope the world, uh, twice with the happy endings, actually, um, it, it, you know, it has the, um, this energy of, okay, we're gonna solve everything and we're gonna, we're gonna start from scratch. Uh, while we shuffled, right, that was the, the um, uh, paraffin energy. So this is the energy of marriage. This is the energy of commitment and, and, um, um, Probably you've been with this person for quite a long time. Um, Leo, moving forward, what do we have? Energy is coming your way. What the outcome of all this? We do have the hangman. Energies of illumination, understanding, walking a mile in their shoes, um, taking responsibility with the Ten of Wands. This is also the energy of doing the work to enlighten yourself. And we do have the judgment. Decisions, reconciliation, and rebirth. Um, coming your way um and it is um it's kind of the universe saying it's over it's over it's over leo uh so probably you don't think or you don't feel this is over just yet and um you got uh today twice the world which is happy endings ten of swords and ten of wands again the end of a cycle and the death endings endings and new beginnings I'm sensing it's with the same person because there is still love in this, a lot of love in the overall. I feel that, um, you know, um, reconciliation is coming your way and that, um, and they really want to change a situation, right? And um, look at this, we have Wheel of Fortune twice. So this is destiny and karma and the universe saying, Page of Swords, how about you talk about, right? How about with communication, we change and shift energies? This is also a co-construction with the universe, right? We have the Page of Swords, let's be smart about it. It's the genius idea. And then the universe showed up twice with the Wheel of Fortune saying, yeah, that is you, but then that is me, you know? And I have something to say, you know? And try to keep the universe quiet. I, I haven't succeeded, so <laughs> just saying. <laughs> Um, kidding, but you get my point, right? So, um, and you have it twice, so I'm not sure you have a lot um, of choices, right? And I'm sure you want this because it looks so good. Knight of Pentacles, the stability and the building brick by brick kind of energy, the energy of being friends and then building of being, uh, and it's paired with the lovers being and friends and lovers. That's the beauty of it, right? And the Knight of Cups, it's like all my senses are, are going wild over you, you know? That's the Knight of um, Knight of Cups energy. And the Empress, I mean, right? They have eyes only for you, which is beautiful, you know? And you make them happy. They have the Nine of Cups in the past and the Three of Cups um, right now. So that is a sense of, this is what I want. I want Leo, you know, a sense of, um, I guess I know what I want. And guess what? Yeah, I know. That was a hell of a heartbreak, right? We have the Ten of Swords, Three of Swords, and the Five of Swords. But guess what? It has the judgment over it. This is the energy of uh, rebirth. This is the energy of reconciliation and second chances. Um, this is the energy of important decisions in regards to this um, uh, betrayal that happened. And you have the judgment twice. You have the rebirth. Twice. So probably I'm picking up um, the energy of a Leo who wants to go back to somebody. And guess what? They want to come back to you too. So, and I would say badly. 
Um, oh, okay. Um, let's see if we should take them back, Leo. Let's ask for some guidance. Such a beautiful uh, energy here. Of course, if you want it, because it came with a lot of um, struggles. Um, three of Swords, Ten of Swords, you cannot have bigger betrayal than this one. Um, unfortunately. And the universe is kind of putting that on a table saying, yes, that is love. And yes, that was betrayal. Now what? You know? And yes, that is love. So... A lot of love so that was betrayal too you know <laughs> kind of three times but um but you know we do have we do get our happy ending here um leo um well of course it depends on what exactly a happy ending is for you so let's we ask for some guidance right what are we supposed to do with this person who showed up with five swords in their hand well guess what do something for someone Gift your attention to another. Oh my God, Leo, you are guided towards somebody else. So do something for someone. Give your attention to another. You are so in trouble. <laughs> we do have the heart of the matter. That is more going on that meets the eye. So that is something that you don't see. So that is why you are guided to look. Um, you know. And appreciate this moment. Every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. Um, Leah, yes, they want to reconcile badly, but this um, guidance of yours is actually um, do something for somebody else, right? Give your attention to another that is more going on than meets the eye. And then every situation is an opportunity to grow and find love. And guess what? Like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. Leo, you are not guided towards this person. What do you want me to say, baby? We have to let them go, let them grow. And we need to look in the opposite direction. So let's see what else. You do have um, Gemini, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You have Scorpio energy, Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio a couple of times. You have Libra, Taurus, Leo. What else? Pisces, Cancer. Gemini, Libra, or Aquarius. Just saying. Um, so let's see what else. You are not guided towards this person. And the Three of Wands, you are, you are actually um, guided to wait. Three of Wands in traditional is all about waiting for ships to come home. Waiting for the right person. Waiting for something that you've invested in. And it will bring benefits to you. That's the Three of Wands. Of course, the message is uh, in this deck, is, it's, uh, but if we go by traditional, that, um, so things are working out beautifully. Now that your um, ship has come in, it's time to decide what your next big project will be. You may choose to continue to build upon um, your successes or move on to something entirely different. Be willing to travel if necessary. Kind of, it's your decision. Kind of like the universe saying it is a happy ending. Yes, they want to come back. Yes, that is love, but you are guided to look the opposite direction and choose whatever you want to choose and we do have the helper of action which is the knight of wands and this is your energy right so be yourself and the message in it it says you're you're blessed with many wonderful things to do it would be great if you could take the time to make a plan first but you probably don't have the time so get busy follow your instincts and have fun you or someone you meet is very self-assured, capable, and enthusiastic and can do anything with a smile. I know, right? So be yourself and wait. Wait for the situation that will uh, bring you benefits and not, um, you know, not this person that came um, here. And actually you have a soulmate bond with this. We do have the Six of Cups. That is a soulmate bond with this person. And, um, yeah... Okay, so let's see what energies we need to get um, moving. We do have surrender obsessive thinking. If you're obsessing about a person or situation, turn the dilemma over to spirit. Doing so will help bring you clarity and even solve the problem. Okay, so no more thinking about this person. You are guided in the opposite direction. We do have patience. I accept that everything happens in divine order. So if you long for a partner, right, stop thinking about the past and um, be in, um, be at peace, right? Gratitude. 
I am thankful for this life and the opportunities that it presents. I am thankful for this life and the opportunities it presents. We forgot to be grateful. Yeah, what happens, baby? Oh, we get to. Okay, I'm gonna take them. So, Leo, surrender your belief in scarcity. The universe is asking you to open to the infinite nature of abundance. In this way, you can remove blocks in your life and succeed beyond your wildest dreams. Don't limit yourself, right? And honestly, that is a, uh, all this guidance, right? Obsessive thinking, this is about freeing yourself, being patient, right? Freeing yourself from um, the desires that push you towards a person that is not yours, right? Gratitude, you know, that is a lesson in it. And belief in scarcity is like freeing yourself from the, the mindset of not having enough or having to do like God knows what in order to feel abundant. And we do have denial. I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. It's interesting. Fear is obsessive thinking. Fear is belief in scarcity, right? And now we have, I acknowledge my fear, but I replace it with the insight of awareness. Feels like an awakening. Feels like you are not guided towards this person, but there is love here. They love you, um, Leo. But your destiny is someplace else, it looks like. And of course, you, all, you always take only what resonates and you always please your, use your better judgment. Okay. And Leo, of course, you know I love you, right? I wish you nothing but the best. Please stay safe and strong. And um, don't, don't forget to like, share and subscribe and come see me next time. Love you. Take care. Bye.